Hello, cherished family and friends. I bring you greetings from wherever you are on the continent. When we wake up and are privileged to see a new day, we need to commit ourselves to God and to listen to Him. Today, I bring you the daily strength. And in it, the topic is trust in God's promise. Trust in God's promise. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let's go on. The scripture reading for today is taken from Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3 to 4. Our scripture reading goes like this. You, Lord, give perfect peace to those who keep their purpose firm and put their trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. He will protect us. Amen. Giving you the expose from the daily strength. It goes like this. Without trust, we will miss out on so many of the gifts God wants to give us every day. Without trust, our hearts will be closed off to the fullness of what this life has to offer us. May we as God's children trust him more fully today in response to his trustworthiness. Psalm 18 verse 2 says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 32 says, For who is God but the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? I love how the Lord chooses to use creation to tell us of the invincible attributes of his nature. To our eyes, rocks are unchanging, steady, and stable. Generations of men come and go. But rocks stay visually the same. So it is with our God. First Kings chapter 8 verse 56 says, Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel according to all that he promised. Not one word has failed of all his good promise which he spoke by Moses, his servant. The promises of God are sure. They are even more immovable than the strongest mountains. They are more steadfast than the very ground you walk on. You can place your trust in God and believe he will follow through on his promises. In fact, Experiencing his promises to the extent God intends for you requires trust. I mean total trust. In Isaiah chapter 26, 3 to 4, it says, You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Throughout scripture, God leads his people to peace. He has promised peace to us as his children. But Isaiah 26 tells us of an incredibly important concept. Those who will be kept in perfect peace are those whose mind is stayed on God. And a mind can only be stayed on God because he trusts in him. Experiencing the fullness of God's promises requires our steadfast trust. For example, Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says, my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. 
God's promises to supply every need of yours. His promise is sure. To experience the peace, his promise of provision is meant to supply requires trusting in his word. Where do you need perfect peace today? Where do you need rest for your soul? Search out the promises of God. Remember that his promises are sure. He is your rock and your refuge. Place your trust in his promises as often as it takes until they produce peace in your life. Choose continually to place your hope in God and live a life of faith in response to his faithfulness. Ah, what a word. I believe you have been tight. Trust God. Thank you.